Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Slippery Jim here. Welcome to a quick and easy guide on how to build the new wonder weapon in the Black Ops 3 Zombies map, Zetsubo no Shima. This uh, weapon is called the KT4, and I'm going to show you some gameplay of this also towards the end of this video. It is a very similar weapon to the Slickify that we had back in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Anyway, there are three parts that you need to get uh, from the map in order to build this. It is built on a buildables table. And these uh, parts can be gained in any order. The first one is obtained at Lab A. As soon as you get a spider around, you can come up here. And basically in Lab A, you will see a cage uh, in the top floor here. And you want to press the switch, so you'll need to have power turned on to do this. Uh, press the switch here, and that will drop the cage down. You want to keep some spiders alive, because then what you have to do is you actually have to lure a spider into the cage. There will be like a zombie hand in there that will kind of grab the spider and then the door will shut automatically so then once you've caught a spider in the cage what you need to do is go back up to the top floor of lab a and just press the switch again to hoist the cage back up into the laboratory area and then what will happen is you'll have this giant needle type gizmo uh which will sample some of the spider venom and you need to collect that spider venom which is your first part for the KT4 Wonder Weapon right here. The uh, next part is going to drop randomly shortly after you turn on the power switch. So that is the main power switch. Permanent power needs to be turned on for this. And then you'll notice uh, a round or two after that, you'll have a zombie. Random zombie will drop like a yellow looking um, object that you need to pick up. That is the second part to build the Wonder Weapon here in Tetsubo no Shima. Now the third and final part is probably the hardest one to get and for this you need to go to the bunker location and then go down into the lower part of the bunker, open up the door on the right that you can see mule kick through the window of and then you want to basically swim underwater, uh, just follow the path that you see me following here but basically you want to swim all the way through the tunnels towards the end. Um, and you can go up to the ceiling to get oxygen or you can shoot the little blister things um, to get some oxygen as you go through. If you do not get oxygen, <laughs> you will eventually die, so just be careful of that. And then uh, once you come down here into this area which has all the blue glowing, uh, I guess that's 115 or something like that, right at the end you'll see this plant here and you want to pick that up. Make sure you burst that blister at the end so you get some oxygen and then just hightail your way out of this tunnel system. Once you make your way out of the flooded tunnels, if you have all the other parts already, you basically just walk out of the corridor past where Mule Kick is, where you came in, and in that room, you will see the build table. So you can also come back here if you if you need to collect the other parts and just come down the, uh, the curvy stairs in the bunker to get back down into this room right here. So then you'll see like a build table which has the uh, weapon already uh, on it and then you just need to click on that and it will feed all of those three um, items into the weapon and you'll be able to pick it up and use the KT4. So it does have one of those long track names but uh, I think pretty much most people are going to call it the KT4. So it's not the most powerful wonder weapon. Um, Firing single shots is not very effective. It kills maybe one zombie at a time. The uh, best way to use it is probably to charge the shot, just like we did with the bows. Uh, it uses three ammunition, not two. Uh, and as you can see, it pretty much took out the thrasher in one charge shot. So I'm going to show you some footage here as well with uh, how it fares against a fairly low level full zombie train here. And uh, people have been comparing this weapon to the Sliquify. In some ways it is like the Sliquify in that it kind of infects the zombies and chains um, that uh, effect um, through the uh, zombie train. Unfortunately it doesn't actually kill that many zombies. To me it seems like it kills maybe about 10 zombies at a time, something like that. Uh, but maybe we'll learn a uh, more effective way to use this one wonder weapon as we become more familiar with it. Anyway, guys, that is my guide on how to build the KT4. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Or you can ask me on Twitter as well. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jamal.